Hello there, today I'll try casting bronze without a furnace. This is not a tutorial, do not repeat anything shown in the video. Did you ever want to cast bronze, but you just don't feel like buying a furnace? I also had the same train of thought, so I came up with an idea. Was it a good idea? This I had to test. Why not use an aluminothermic reaction to produce molten copper, and then alloy it with tin? Steel can be cast this way, train tracks are welded with a similar process. So it should work, right? There is one small problem. Mixture of copper oxide and aluminium is much more exothermic than mixture of iron oxide and aluminium. This combined with the fact boiling point of copper is lower than that of iron can lead to some suboptimal situations. But don't worry, I can fix that. First mixture I tried consisted of 65 grams of copper oxide 15 grams of 200 micron aluminium, 10 grams of tin granules, and 30 grams of metallic copper. Large particle size of copper oxide and aluminium serves to slow the reaction, and the extra metal in the mix is there to absorb some of the released energy and prevent the copper from boiling. I made a simple open mold by compressing sand around a zinc cast. General idea is to carry out the reaction in this piece of fire brick that will be situated above the sand mold. Like this. I thoroughly combined all the reagents put a bit of aluminium foil inside the foamed concrete brick and poured the mixture in. To this hole I'll fill the ignition mix, magnesium granules, and a bit of rocket candy, mixture of potassium nitrate and sugar. That should provide the initial ignition for the magnesium, which will then in turn react with the air and copper oxide to start the alum aluminothermic reaction. Magnesium itself is able of reducing copper oxide, but it's not ideal because it has a lower boiling point. For ignition, I'll be using this uh, bit of slow match on a stick. No particular reason, I just like it.
we have achieved ignition now I hope the thing reacted all the way it did not for fuck's sake I've got a delayed ignition and this shitty ass phone doesn't focus half a minute after I stopped filming the reaction suddenly picked up this is the reason why you should never approach such a reaction before you are sure it is over I could have gotten hurt had I stayed close to the reaction vessel I have no idea if any of the metal got into the mold and well it's smoking a bit but uh, I'm not moving the, this infernal device until it cools down it's certainly smoking from the bottom I hope that's a good sign this thing is still hot but I can uh, I can handle it with the gloves so let's see if any of the metal actually flew into the mold oh Itty bitty bitty bit of metal alloy actually got through. Well, the rest stayed here. I'll wait for it to fully cool down and then I'll crush and chisel it out of here to, to at least weigh if I got all the 90 grams of, of alloy or if uh, there is still some unreacted copper oxide I mean we could say this somewhat worked I still need to optimize it a lot but it's a start is it a good start I don't know all right first little bit of metal that actually got through you can you can already see that uh, some of the unlit composition also fell through the through the hole this uh, piece of metal is silvery I'd say it's uh, mostly aluminium uh, and tin I broke up this slag chiseled out entire cooled out mixture and separated out the metal bits I found out that not all of the copper I have added melted and that metal that formed did not collect together. Smacking the alloy I made with a hammer, I found out that it's almost as hard as steel. From this I can tell that some of the aluminium got to the, into the alloy and did not react with copper oxide. Aluminium bronze is known for its hardness and is not malleable like pure tin bronze. While I was making a new batch of copper oxide, I thought about the aluminium problem and came up with an easy solution. I could calculate how much copper oxide I need to add to fully oxidize both the foil and the magnesium I am using to ignite the mixture and still have some left. But I simply switched over to making aluminium bronze and eliminated the tin from the mixture. After a few small scale tests, I came up with a mixture of 4.42 parts copper oxide, 1.35 parts aluminium, I eliminated the copper and instead used a mixture of aluminium that is 50% 200 micron powder and 50% 0 0.5 to 1.4 millimeter 
Aluminium shot. I then scale it up to 100 grams of copper oxide, 30.5 grams of aluminium, packed it into a fire brick, added ignition mix, and prepared for ignition. I'm here at the cornfield once again. This time I have a mixture that should create aluminium bronze hopefully without the late ignition issue i also brought up a much longer matchstick This time I got a full ignition and the mixture did flow into the mold. It would appear that most of the molten mass moved through the bottom of the reaction vessel into the mold. Let's uh, let, let this thing cool a bit and then we'll check how it looks underneath. Well, let's see. Ooh, metal is still glowing red hot. Focus your damnable thing. I'll have to wait a, a bit longer or uh, much longer to see if uh, we actually casted anything successfully. But we got the mixture into the mold, so this has to count for something. There was still some material left in the reaction vessel, but most of the material moved to the mold. I got the solidified mass from the mold and cooled it in water. Mold did not survive the sudden influx of the hot metal and slag, so I casted nothing but a misshapen blob of metal and slag. But uh, this is a skill issue on my part. I should have made a better mold and then the product would be better. What did I learn? I need to make a deeper, stronger mold that will survive hot products. Batch size needs to be increased, so the molten mixture will keep temperature for longer, and the copper will have more time to flow to the bottom of the mold. If possible, the mold should be preheated. If enough of you are interested, I will make a part two, in which I will try to improve the process and cast something nice. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe and see you next week.